I have so many things to be thankful for and I realize that a lot of people probably right now aren't feeling very grateful. Maybe they've had a rough year. But I actually read a quote recently that gratefulness opens our eyes to what we have rather than focusing on what we don't have. So I just try and wake up counting my blessings and go to sleep the same way with a thankful heart. I'm thankful for the time I'm going to get to spend with family um, because having lost some family, I lost my dad a couple of months ago, you know, I realize how precious that is. So I'm going to grab onto that. Um, I'm also thankful for those who aren't going to be able to sit down to have a Thanksgiving dinner with their family because they're working. Either in the military protecting us overseas or protecting our neighborhoods as a first responder. So a lot to be grateful for. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for um, my wife, the warrior queen, the beautiful Miss Stephanie, and for healing in her life. I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for being a father and for my children. I'm very, very thankful for the love that we have in our home. Love is strength and strength is love. And I'm very thankful for that. I would say, honestly, I'm thankful for the season the Cardinals are having and the season the Suns just had and may potentially have here again if it's looking good so far. Uh, certainly thankful for, uh, for family and friends. Maybe I should have put them ahead of the local sports teams, but I did because for a reason. No, uh, family and friends for sure. Um, you know, just everybody getting together on Thanksgiving. Didn't really get to do that as much last year, so I think I appreciate that more this year. Everybody just getting together, uh, having a good time, having those, those Thanksgiving holiday traditions, uh, eating certainly the Thanksgiving food. Very thankful for that. Actually, that probably should be first. Out of Gatos, he's Chad. It's Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for, Chad Benson? My beautiful wife, my credible family, all the good stuff that's going on, playing lots of golf. Uh, out of my uh, course out there, Arizona City Golf Course is awesome. I'm just thankful. I'm just living life large. Got my son, my family, things happy. The little ones, we're good. Yeah. I'm thankful for gas prices because they're so low. I'm Fantastic. thankful for inflation because every time I go to the grocery store, it's, it's, I save money every, every, every time, time I walk in. Every time because you don't buy anything because you can't afford <laughs> it anymore. Happy Thanksgiving. Be safe, y'all. I am thankful for great friends, great bandmates, great readers, great listeners, great coworkers, except for Jared. For this guy over here, and I'm really grateful that for the first time in 20 plus years, we have two championship caliber teams simultaneously to talk about and cheer about. The little things. Well done. How do I follow that? I am, uh, what he said. <laughs> no. Um, this, this Thanksgiving is interesting because I'm thankful for starting to move back towards normalcy. Um, I think I ate a frozen dinner by myself on Thanksgiving last year because oh, we couldn't no. see people, we couldn't see family, so I'm thankful that we're creeping back towards normalcy, and a lot of that has to do with, you know, the radio show, getting back to normal. You mentioned the championship caliber teams. I'm so thankful for our listeners that not only have stuck through us uh, with us through a pandemic when we didn't have a lot to talk about, but have now followed us to a new day, uh, time slot it's been a slice, it really has. And uh, like, like Big said, I'm thankful for the vibe we have, the environment we've created on our show. It, it makes it fun to come to work every day. I have to say that I'm most thankful right now for my ability to give. You know, times in my life where I wasn't able to give, and I'm so thankful now that there are so many people out there that aren't able to give anymore. I'm thankful that I'm still able to give, and I plan on doing as much of that as I can this holiday season. Well, of course, as always, I'm thankful for my family, my dear wife, our two kids, my son's girlfriend, uh, my daughter's boyfriend. We all get along really well, and it's always great to have good family time together. I'm always thankful for the Thanksgiving weekend, our tradition of going up to Flagstaff and then cutting down our Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving, going out in the middle of the woods and cutting it down. And uh, really looking back on 2021, it might sound kind of cheesy, I'm really thankful for the run that the Phoenix Suns went on over the summer. It sounds kind of crazy, but that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. That was some of the most fun I've had doing this job in a long, long time. I'm very grateful for this amazing career that I have. For you, all the listeners out there, being with us for all these years, my amazing wife, Chelsea, all of my kids and my family, so much to be grateful for. Again, I want to wish everybody a great Thanksgiving.